Oh, right. I left myself with murder homework. Whoa. You can do a game. That was a... We good? 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 Oh, I did the murder homework already. I'm very smart. Listen, I have a lot of competing memories about very similar looking rooms as this one. I forget what I did last time sometimes. I've had both variations multiple times where I like, I... I leave off right before the boss or I leave off having just beaten the boss. Okay, back outside. Oh yeah, and I wanted to go down here next. Thank you, past me, for map notes. <laughs> this is a bit of an impromptu episode. I, I've like accidentally taken like a vacation this week. I didn't really mean to. I've just... My newfound furry community is very distracting. <laughs> Uh, and it, I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's like very easy to get trapped in conversations or just kind of like cycle between notifications on four different things and then be like, oh fuck, it's 6 p.m. What the, what, ha uh, what happened? I gotta like go get trash food very quickly and try to record like a little bit of a thing for a minute before the thing I have at 8.30 starts. Ah. <laughs> So instead of checking what I had, instead of trying to review what was happening between episodes or whatever, I'm like, I have uh, less than an hour to record roughly an hour long episode, uh, just so I have something I did today. <laughs> juggling, I am juggling things between the, uh, my, my job channel and my hobby channel that, I don't know, could be my job one day with the essays. And then being like, yeah, but also, what about, like, personal interests, you know? Well, I think I've been in this exact building before, with that exact elevator. It felt impactful the first time, but now I'm like, this is just the same one again, isn't it? I'm on day two of what will hopefully be a full month of me drawing every day, just because I've always wanted to draw. Fun fact, one of the f it's, a, it's all hidden now, but, like, one of the first things I did with this channel, besides some, like, I, well, I had some random gay pl uh, the first thing was the first thing was like a high school sober grad night video that's how long I've had this channel this was like a channel this is the channel I originally re registered so I could watch red vs blue to get past the age gate it was just my channel or my account channel it was it doesn't feel accurate at first and then uh, I uploaded a bunch of random like no commentary gameplay with like no real context to it just because. And then I did this thing that called Get Your Shit Together, where uh, I had what was going to be like my last summer ever. And it wasn't even like a high school summer, it was a college su summer. I'm like, this is like my last break, where like I have a few months where I'm not working. And I don't have school. I should do something with this? And I applaud myself for trying. But when my goals were practice art and... Uh, lose weight and learn guitar. Uh, I technically did make like a couple dozen art pieces all the way back then, but aside from that, it was a pretty unsuccessful endeavor of using the time well. So it's kind of cool to be drawing again a bit. Part of why I'm distracted and not getting so much done is the fact that I'm like, oh, I like my little Discord server where I hang out with these people and talk for a bit. We, I, I added a furry hell channel to the Discord. And we just hang out and talk about things. And since I'm not, and since I'm just being open, like, I, I guess what I've said is that the, uh, hiding and, hiding, like, guarding and uh, guarding myself and hiding things about myself has like a quieting effect. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit too much in podcast mode. I did not register what I picked up. <laughs> I really wish there was a new items menu in this game, but there's not. Not unless you sort every single tab by new items one by one and then try to figure out which one is the new item. Oh no! 
Not one of these again. Remember when this felt rare and different? Shit, uh... Do it? Jeez. Where is it? <clears throat> it spawned? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. No! Okay. I didn't know this could happen. Okay, there must be somewhere I can reach. Okay. Stop existing. Stop existing. Stop existing. Ow. Where the hell do you come from? Got me what to hit this. There we go. Okay. Um Where's the next one? Is it all the way at the bottom? Okay, so right as it goes by, right? Uh, cuz then it has to has to go all the way back. What is up with this glyph? Do I do something with it? Is it gonna plow through these pillars? <gasps> How was I supposed to know that was gonna fucking happen? Oh, fuck. I, I healed. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not good. What the f- Dude, these are really douchey. They're so rapid fire. No. Nah. <laughs> that place looks terrifying. Yeah, but yeah, historically with the Discord, I've like lurked more so than used and talked. It turns out interacting with the Discord is a huge productivity loss. When am I? When am I gonna get anything done? Okay, I should be able to stop in the middle at least, right? I can at least take a break from this chain reaction of motherfucker. I gotta stand right in the middle. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 okay. Oh wow. I mean, this should be more approachable in some ways. Oh yeah, even with- there's even these, okay. I have more tools to deal with this than usual. Be wary of skeleton. But yeah, I'm in the middle of trying to rebuild my video backlog after only getting a, a, per, a small percentage of my overall workload done for like an entire month when I was working on the essay. <laughs> So these are days I'm supposed to be getting more done than normal. Instead, I'm getting much less than done than normal. Whoops. Oh, no! Fuck you! He stopped right there. But last week, I got almost double my normal quota done, so... I just wasn't... I didn't mean for it to be me prepping for a, an accidental vacation where I don't get anything done the next week, but I don't know. Being self-employed and then also having like an output oriented uh, workload leads to a real weird ebb and flow where you can, you really feel how much time you accidentally lose <laughs> because you just see the results not happen. You're like, oh shit, I have, a, I have a way of measuring how much I got done this week and it was less than I meant for it to be because you sneeze and it's 5 p.m. all of a sudden, and you're like, oh, sh what? <laughs> How'd that happen? How'd that happen? I didn't sign up for fast forward time. Oh! You dick! I swear to God. Ah, why is he so ready? Shit. Uh, you. You are you. Okay. Uh oh, they're kind of close together. Okay. It's easy to run past them when they stop midway through. Oh shit. Ow, camera! Fuck, yeah, you can't stay down. I've been playing too much Monster Hunter.
playing too much Monster Hunter where the instinct is that you need to stay laid down when a bad thing happens. Part of the reason I brought up the discourse is that besides the productivity loss is that there's like this like sort of wholesome mutual encouraging that's happening. And a lot of us have felt encouraged to kind of like pursue artistic pursuits of various kinds. Marty is suddenly like really into customizing VR chat avatars. Like <laughs> he got like he just picked up that hobby fast and hard. Where suddenly he's like working on his dragon character all the time, and it's like, and, and like, he's got someone else that wants him to do one for them, and so on. And he's like, real, that's just like the, his like hobby he's really into right now. It's like that just kind of came out of nowhere because we played VR chat for a bit. Fuck you! Multiple people have just gotten personas now, which is fun. <laughs> We. They, turns out when you see enough people having fun doing a thing, instead of being like, that's that's weird and cringe, and I, m mama raised me to think furries are bad or whatever. Instead, it's like, oh, they're having fun, and I want to, I want to have fun. I want to join in. <laughs> and then people are like, uh, uh, I, I think am I am I a bear? I'm gonna make a bear. <laughs> And I'm bringing it up here because I'm tr I'm trying to get used to just talking about it, like it's just normal, because it is. I don't know. There's it's fun to normalize a thing that is generally just a force for good. And I'm, the comments on the B Stars video are just nuts. I'm out of date on them because there's too many. There are too many coming too fast, and then once the backlog of tasks got too big, it became really intimidating to even try to chip at it anymore. And the way that comments work on YouTube is not very good. Like, I don't. I can't really have like an inbox and an outbox where I can just easily check which ones I haven't read yet and go through them and so on, which sucks. But while I was keeping up with them, it was this really wholesome thing of people. Feeling encouraged and destigmatized and better about who they are as people, and it's nice. Oh, fuck. So, I'm probably gonna go even further and get some new art for the channel because we've been using the same one for a long time. And this one will probably have ears on the top of the head. And people that don't like it, I guess, can just go fuck themselves. <laughs> Ow, fuck. I never uh, how I guess these are just kind of guys we're used to fighting, but it's kind of a rough time. But I had a summon two at once. Fuck you. Ow. Oh my god, let me heal. Cause there there was a stake, right? Okay. Oh my god, he's chewing into my mimic too. Okay, there's a stake. We. It's been a cool month. I uh, I finished a project that was the most I've worked on anything in my entire life, unless you count really large abstract concepts like my YouTube channel or my college degree. But like those, that's a, that's that's a different unit, I would say. You know. So having that reach an astonishing number of people. Oh fuck, that seems bad. Having that reach an astonishing number of people and also kind of start feeling like the most impactful thing I've ever done has been... I guess what I would... It's like the th type of thing you would have always hoped would happen when you work on something like that, but I would never dare to expect. So it's been cool. Oh my god. Ow! You dick wad. You wad of dick. Bet. Oh, stop having more tricks. I don't like that you have more tricks all the time. It's rude. Why don't you get flinched by anything? Oh, fuck. 
When do your combos end? Ow! Ow! Not good so far. Oh, my guy's gonna die. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow! Why can't I backstab you? It's not fair. Oh, no. You're that guy. No. At the same time? Oh, they both tail whipped me at the same time. Oh, shit. They both fly at the... Oh, you are the two dickheads from on the way to the gargoyles. It is both of you. Oh, no. Can you please die to attacks when I hit you with them, dick? Ow. Jesus Christ. Ha 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have- uh, I didn't craft any more damage bonus stuff. Hi. Ugh. Ow. No! Don't take any more damage, don't take any more damage. <laughs> no! I was gonna do it, damn it. Dick. No. <laughs> His weapon is so fucking long that he can get you when you're running full speed away. That sucks. Oh god, is he coming for me? Kinda, not very well. Uh, 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 okay. Ha, 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 ha! Okay, bye. Huh. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's... Man, he does not last long against these guys, which, I mean, fair, I, I see it, it sucks here. No, 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 no. Are you both chasing me? That's not fair. You're not allowed to do that. Ah! It's okay, I mostly didn't get hurt by that because I did the thing. Okay. Oh god, they're both on him. That's also good, but not for long. <laughs> Yes, this is such a good weapon for exactly the situation. Not this part, but the part where I did up to now. Ow. Eh. I love how good- Ah, oh, it's like when I fought that general and my weapon perfectly threads the needle between his attacks durations. No, I'll save you. Oh, too late. Just in time to have to fight this fucker again. Whoa! Hi. Ow. Ow. You like that? Ow, I don't like- I don't like that. Fuck you. He's angry mode. No, it's the easy dodge. No, what the fuck is this attack range? I jumped over it. <laughs> That's the coolest thing I've ever done. Uh oh, that was less so. Ow. It's only cool when it works. Uh, I'm not getting further from you, and I'm running. There you go. What the fuck is his walk speed? I'm running, dick. Hit him once, hit him once. Okay. Uh, listen, if you fight those guys alone, I see you, I respect you, good job, I love that for you. Fuck that. And that whole concept. I don't know why you did that to yourself. <laughs> One on two against those guys? <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. Oh, that was satisfying, though.
getting getting it down enough where I could eventually kill him in time. Because yeah, the goal is to kill one of them before they kill the mimic, and it's way easier to kill the guy that doesn't have a shield. Mainly because apparently his attack swings are perfectly timed for me to just roll between them all, and then attack each time. Look at my tiny baby mana bar. So small. Uh, let's get off of the thing so I can destroy it. Doop -a doop. Bok the Seamster is inside? Okay. Alright, well, that was the main thing I wanted to check out, so I guess I'll go back upstairs. At this point. Might be easier just to do from up here. Oh, wait, no, I had a thing. I can just teleport straight there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm in, this, I'm in this big pile of juggling all these tasks and my shifting life and like... What? Wow, 60k, okay. And even like a, a series of like new relationships and so on. And I'm still behind on my Let's Play channel. I'm making positive progress every week, but I'm not like... I need to get my backlog back. That's why videos have just randomly been late lately. Is that I'm like, oh fuck, I needed to render that. So far I've not been like, oh fuck, I didn't even record that. That hasn't happened yet. But there has definitely been times where it's like, uh... I, I didn't... I was too tired last night, I just didn't edit it yet. I need to edit that shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Because I'm, uh, I'm busy. There's a lot to juggle. Hello. And then on top of that, we're hitting the, uh... We're coming up on the it being one month old. So the peop people that don't necessarily know my schedule, which is that there isn't one, are kind of like, So! When's, uh, when's that next uh, essay coming out? And it's like, I haven't even started scripting it yet. Uh, I have not had time to even think about working on an essay. But I'm glad everyone liked the last one. It was di decidedly higher impact than I could have predicted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You alright there, bud? If we put enough of these messages here, it'll look like a tanning bed. Head, butthole. Oh my god, you deviant. <laughs> I'm afraid to say the word for that on air. Wasn't I already here? Or have I just seen this exact hallway before? Because there's a, they, they sometimes subtly and sometimes less subtly recycle stuff all the time. I think I've just seen this exact hallway before. But not literally this one. I don't remember it ending in a desert. It's so big! Like, you knew it was big, but when you get closer, you really have to deal with how big it is. Oh, and there's the, uh... There's a, the giant tr door. No, you know... I think I've been exactly here before. Do I have this already? I do. I got teleported here from somewhere, and it was actually just the beginning of this area, apparently. Okay. I, 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 I kind of thought I was like in the core of it all, but it was just like the very, very beginning. Not nearly as much of a shortcut or like crazy sequence break as it felt immediately. So I guess I can, I can write that out of my mind now. 
But there still is this one? Oh, wait, but that was a dead end where I got I was put on a giant high up bridge spot and fought a dude, and then that was it. I think there was a dead end. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay. So I guess I have, I have I have fewer loose ends than I thought I did as far as like different spots to teleport between based on what happened before. Now I'm just here. Hello. My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement and thus the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn runes into strength. Here, with you. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. I'm gonna be honest, it's been so long that I don't remember what your goal was and what exactly was going on with you. Because it's, it's been a bit of a slow burden, but best wishes. And whatnot. Uh, good luck, have fun. You know? I believe in you! <laughs> Bach is here. What are, you, what are you doing in here? I guess from the fact that you suddenly showed up at that crossroad, that was an indication that you're on your way here. Bach the seamster, at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Did you see it? Master, did you see it? The... the Erd Tree. I... Oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so... so dazzled, I felt something stir in my breast. The Erd Tree is waiting for you, Master. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Alter Garments feels like a really incomplete mechanic. I'm not really like begging for more or anything, it's just the fact, once it, like if it was not introduced as a concept, I wouldn't question it. But once it's introduced, I'm like, that's not, there's not much to that. You really do just add and remove capes and hoods, basically. And it just feels like it promises something more significant than that. <clears throat> this was an inspired choice to destroy this chunk of the wall. And really expose the tree on your way into town. And then you kind of just process how much... You do notice this door, but you also just can't look up enough at it. Like, is it really just... The sheer scale of it. it doesn't fit on your screen. And also you can turn literally 180 degrees around and you can still see it behind you. That's how big this thing is. But if you walked in here and there was just a fucking wall here, you would be like, alright, that was a wall. Went over here now. But they just, they just obliterate this chunk of wall and now all you can see is this crazy view on the way in. It's a pretty good idea. We'll see what happens with Bach, like if he has more storyline or something. I don't really know what's gonna happen with him. That's a big ol' petrified dragon. Are you a statue? Or were you a dragon? It's always really hard to tell what's petrified and what's a uh, crafted statue in a video game because of the fact that very, very, very frequently the statues are just a character model but with a stone texture on it frozen in place. <laughs> Obviously they're, they're like little like a dude standing on a thing is often, there, there are like, def there are definitely are just statue assets in games, but a lot of statues in games are just character models that can move and so on. Thinking about like Forbidden City and stuff like that too, but there's a lot of examples. These are straight up reflectively gold rooftops, like excessive, frankly. There's a destroyed dome over there. The fuck are those things? Oh, those things are those are alive. What are they? They look like gourds.
Oh. The thing we're hearing is a diegetic sound. Them playing those. It's not just a background thing in the soundtrack. I don't think I can make that full. I don't think that's gonna work for me. Man, we're getting late in the game, I think, and I'm, I'm just getting nervous about all the storylines of the characters, which ones I do and don't remember, and which ones I've broken or failed or succeeded at. I gotta go back to Hug Lady and interrogate that and see if there's more to do there. Do I want to do anything with Hug Lady? Is it good? Is it bad? I have a bit of an issue with some of the... Like, I, I kind of skipped the... the volcano quest chain, I guess. Which is like... An extended assassination question or something. Whoops. But also maybe I didn't want to do it, because they seemed awful, so... Not whoops? <laughs> but while I always like these games, it can be a little hard to keep track of exactly what's going on, even with this game being one of the most explicit ones they've ever made. Like, this game and Sekiro are much... Uh, they're like, in some ways, not as Vati Vidya friendly, because they just tell you their plot to a certain extent. But they still could do with like a recap. Sometimes you're like, oh shit, that's a character I saw 20 hours ago. What was happening there? And then it doesn't always help that the first time someone talks to you, they're already using a bunch of terms that you don't necessarily understand. Like, requiring you to have an in-depth knowledge of, like, the names of all of the sub-regions of the map. And, like, instant recall and the ability to make connections on the fly. Because you can check the map afterwards, but then there's the question of do you remember exactly what they said? And then once you successfully check what location they were referring to, do you also remember what they said about it? And so on. And then you talk to the NPC again, and they just don't repeat themselves, and you're like, oh, shit. Or in some cases, disappear. And you're like, well... I'm a little back and forth, where I've, I've heard comments about how it's good that the game doesn't have a quest log. And I kind of agree. But I would kind I do- I wouldn't mind having a Morrowind-style journal. I do- I did like that. Where it was less- here's a series of things- oh, hello. I don't like how games are often about following a bunch of arrows and not thinking and so on. But there is a middle ground where you can at least keep track of things a bit. And the more the more went journal and the ability to just, like if you have the patience, you can page back through your entire journey in chronological order. It gives you the ability to like reference exactly what the fuck someone said a while ago. Which is exceptionally helpful sometimes. What is that thing? It's moving. It's nasty looking. It is extremely funny that like... Akin to the infamous Metroid post of somebody being like, How does Metroid... How does Metroid crawl or something? On Super Metroid on the Wii U. Uh, the most, if you, if the moment you even start searching Morrowind, I think you immediately could get, it like auto-completes quickly to like, where is Caius Cades, or whatever his name was. Because it's like the first objective of the game is to find this guy that's like on the opposite side of town in like the back corner. And then of course when you do find him, your reward is for him to pretty much immediately say, like, go side quest and become strong now. But admittedly, being, getting lost is also kind of in the game's favor, because you're supposed to go make other kinds of progress anyway. I'm behind you now! Haha! -ha. I'm a cheaty boy, apparently. Now I'll just continue to live in the suspense of whatever the fuck that thing does and attacks like and so on, because we didn't learn anything. We. But no, there's a, there's a charm to games where they have to kind of figure out. Like Outer Wilds, in Disco Elysium. But I don't- I don't think that, uh, Elden Ring isn't my personal sweet spot. 
I like that there's little icons on the map that show you where NPCs are, although they're hard to spot on the fly, and I don't... Can you look up a specific one? Ooh, that's an interesting thing. What did I press a second ago? A second ago I brought up a weird menu I've never done before. Ooh, oh yeah, this is the multiplayer buttons. Okay. Oh, this is the Sights of Grace menu, isn't it? Okay. Marked Sights of Grace? You can mark the Sights of Grace? That just like normal marks that you do? That... No? Huh. But yeah, it's not even like a Let's Player thing, but just it's like an everybody's memory thing is just being able to quickly keep track of the very large cast of characters in some capacity. Or having some kind of resource you can go back to instead of just being like, oh, you didn't catch that? Well. Because <laughs> let's be honest, uh, most of y'all look things up. <laughs> and it'd be cool if it was more e possible to not have to look things up. Everyone's going to argue with me now, but I know you guys. The contrarians don't make me wrong. And also some of them are lying too. Ha! <laughs> I know people so famously look stuff up about Dark Souls games that it's literally part it's literally seen as uh, counterintuitively ish as being like Part of the the sense of community of the game, kind of like kind of like the uh, markings people put on the floor or the messages. These people are just despaired. They, they don't care anymore. All right, so I can jump down from the elevator, or I can go forward, or I can go up. Touch and base on my options. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked here. The seedbed curse. All right, well that's very much hyped up like a thing that means something. Curse grown on a body defiled by the dung eater. Ugh. Is there somebody that collects a currency based on all the people that were attacked by the dung eater? I've got a bell. I've got a bell bearing to turn in. Every time I accidentally say ball bearing, it sounds dirty in my brain for some reason. Even though I know what a ball bearing is, and it's not. <laughs> I don't know why. But every time I accidentally say ball bearing, I'm like, just stop saying ball bearing on accident. On accident. It feels weirdly Freudian for some reason, even though it literally doesn't mean anything like that. Brains are dumb. I think it's because there's a part of my brain that always tries to think of a pun or some kind of joke or reaction, especially when I'm just screwing with bird and, and the plenty of them are dirty jokes and so on. So I hear the word ball and I'm a fourth grader about it. <laughs> Because my job, to some extent, my job has conditioned me to be a fourth grader about it. But I'm not complaining. We've had some magical moments of saying some utter bullshit at each other, and it's very fun. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. That's not enough damage. Oh, that was better. There you go. Oh, what? What? Okay. I was really scared because I thought the first guy got back up somehow, but it's just some random dude. I guess he just threw his perfume thing that I also have now, and it just affected some random dude, and I, that guy's like, I guess I'm fighting now. This zone is just packed with perfumers. Are they going for like an opiumy kind of thing? I don't know. 
just a lot of people are in a state, and then there's people who are playing instruments, and then there's people who u attack using substances. I'm sorry if I'm saying something insensitive here, and I'm just like grasping. I am not a historian or much of a culture person, like a person to go to for questions of these things. But I know these regions tend to be based on like some kind of culture or source material. Often exaggerated or taken as inspiration, but I know that there's the uh Sherfrey River? Circe River? I don't know. The Alpha River? That place is supposed to I still haven't found that article again to revisit this, so I'm just awkwardly embarrassing myself. But I know that, that was supposed to be like really specific. And it's in, in its uh, influences. There's some real interesting video essays or whatnot to be seen about this that just go into the details of uh, what the inspirations are of this game. Maybe at some point I'll watch one. Ah! Stop! I'm not really a fan of. Oh. Jesus Christ, dude. Chill. Holy crap. Oh god, they're both... Oh my god! How do I get back there? Where was I? Where was I just now? Shit. Holy... Wow. That flurry of flaming bolts just delete you in one go. They just all landed. Wow. Where am I? Okay. I was really happy when Jacob Geller made a video about Dark Souls 3. Just because I want to hear discussions of like the themes and the meaning and so on of thing of these things. Hopefully I'm not like burning the house down by saying this, but like I'm not a huge fan of Vati Vidya videos. They're like it's like it's fine. They're like decently made for what they are and so on. But it's too much. I'm just not generally a fan of videos that are like, and here's what's happening in the game. It's admittedly like a useful tool for a game like Dark, so Dark Souls, where it's kind of hard to tell what is happening in the game. And so for that, it's kind of nice. But I just, I like, I, they, they, they're like, they're like video game, they're like video essay adjacent. And from that kind of video, I always hope to hear more about, like, meaning and themes and, like, even political things. Like, even just, like, what is the thing trying to say? What is the point of these things? Whereas if you're just, like... I don't know. I don't have, like, a whole prepared speech for it. Uh -huh. Dude, no, no, no! Fuck this guy! <laughs> there goes my souls. Dude! <laughs> He's absurd. But, like, I just, I feel like I've... I feel like I've watched, like, the entirety, or at least at one point had watched the entirety of, like... And here's what all the lore means, and what happened in the game. But it didn't necessarily come to like a more coherent theming than just the original surface inter interpretation of like hollowing as a theme, and like not giving up, and so on. Oh shit, that seems bad. <laughs> Wow, you're worth 3k. That's a decent amount. The 
do. Like, you know, people can do what they want and watch what they want. I prefer Vati video way over, like, game game theory, which is, like... Which used to be kind of fun, like, uh... Fun, like, misapplication of math <laughs> for just to, just to play around. But kind of became, like... And here's what's really happening in the thing. And it's, like, not as interesting. And sometimes it feels anti-intellectual, like, actively, and I'm really frustrated by that. I'm just like, game theory... <laughs> Come on, man. Or film theory and so on. I'm like, you're... This video hurts because you're actively refusing to engage with what the thing is saying and what any of the thing means so that you can have, like, this... It... I, I, I got a headache when I watched the video about Squid Game where it was like, here's what they should have done if they wanted to win. What they did wasn't very smart. I'm like, I... I... You're ignoring basic elements of how much information they had, and the motivation of the characters, and the theme of the show, and like, the point of any of it as a piece of art? And I'm like, this is just not good, like, oh, this isn't a great way to engage with art, and having that be the mo like, one of the most popular, I hate this guy so much. The theme of this guy is I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. I don't know, as somebody who does video essays, the uh, it's a little frustrating that the, the most popular channels that engage with film and TV are pretty much universally, like, cinema sins level, like, anti-intellectual interactions where you're just like, just are not at all <laughs> caring about what the thing is about. And you're like, please. <laughs> And I'm going on for too long about this thing. It's already it's already done. It's already uh, discussed pretty well in in Dan Olson's video, uh, Annihilation and Decoding Metaphor. Boop. Which is just gets into like people just watching a movie like Annihilation and weirdly like being like obsessed with all the wrong deep things about it and not just please, please. I'm going this way because my fucking my souls are super multi-level deleted at this point, so not like I have a lot to go back for. Who is attacking me? Did you just throw lightning at me? That's just that little dude. You again? Oh shit! It's one of you guys. Boy, I'm getting sick of the people around here. Oh. I wish you a merry fuck you. Ah. These guys' tools are getting out of hand. The shit they're capable of. Hi. Don't, don't like the don't like your lightning strike attacks. Not, ow! Owie! Stop it! Stop it! I think this. Probably connects right back to the room I keep dying in. Where's that dickhead? Fuck you! Okay, he's dead. Jeez. What a legitimately out of control weapon. That f that fucking crossbow. Holy shit. Oh. You really reckon right there with the total lack of iframes between attacks. Oh, you just took damage? That doesn't matter. More damage! Whee! Whew. Thankfully, I leveled up right before I came in here. I probably still lost like 10 to 20k because I 
killed a decent number of these dudes and their values are going up. But we're fine-ish. This is a little nuanced because I'm like, I don't, I'm not here to like attack anybody and you can watch what you want and whatnot. And it's fine. Ah! And I generally understand that people that work, that make the, that kind of content are like, it's a gig for them. <laughs> They're often like, hey, this is how I make my living is doing it. That, oh, wow. This has like foam in it. It's like that part Half-Life Alex with the, the foam sealing the doors and so on. Might be amber or something. Like people find their weird niche. It's just sometimes that their niche, niche is very frustrating to watch. You! I dodged it! Ow. Ah. I'm a lot of stamina. Ow! I mean, magic. No! I almost got away with it if it wasn't for you and your sword. Covered in lightning. Ow! Aha! I delayed just long enough to dodge correctly. I didn't just panic roll. Ah, uh, that was gonna be bad. That was gonna be bad. Not gonna lie, it can be a little frustrating in not a. In not in the bad way, but just like, holy shit, how? <laughs> how often you can bring up a topic and they're like, hey, there's Dan Olson's video that, that discusses that really well. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> you're bigger than the other one, aren't you? Ah, get hit. Thank you. Uh-oh. Wait, what? That's the one that was already... Oh, that was weird. <laughs> <clears throat> that, was the, that was the one that was just sitting there the whole time. The one from the corner is the one that came up behind me. This place is huge. Not, the sex jokes are disappearing. What am I being wary of on my right? Oh, hi. I see it's one of you dudes. Have I been here? That's okay, that's where I came from. Getting turned around a little bit. Oh boy. One of the bigly boys is here. Alright, I could use some backup. No! It's the attack that always gets me. I dodged it it. Oh, you have a lot of health. Have you considered having less health? Motherfucker, it unsummoned my dude. God damn it, game. Summons are so frustrating sometimes. They have like secret rules and weird boundaries that delete them or something that they can't see. And they just get punished. It sucks. I spent health on that summon and he didn't even do anything. I don't get the health back. Good thing you missed, because I missed I missed also. Ow. Ah. Woo that was down to the wire. Shouldn't have taken that risk, but I did. 
I mean, it's spicy. Just for Lord Zarun. Is that like the biggest rune of them all? Oh my god, it's a whole ass eyeball. That's Nyris, isn't it? You used to get an, an enormous abundance of runes. An abundance of runes. Race that dwells within the inhabitants of lands between true vestiges of gold. Used to gain an enormous abundance of runes. Runes of one who was destined to become a lord, but when the Elden Ring was shattered, all that remained was a distant duty. So it's a rune of somebody like me. Gonna find out how much I'm worth. Ow. Bonus dude just kind of showed up. Oh no, more bonus dudes. Guys, I don't have anything. I don't have resources right now. This is bad. I can't use this because it, uh, it requires magic. Oh, there's some magic. I have magic at least. Okay. That's something. Why is your attack so long? Oh my god. I just 10 would that guy. No blocky. Oh, they crumpled more than I expected at that point. I was not expecting to to, to one shot that guy. Ultimately, can I have a can I have a, a waypoint, a a checkpoint, a grace? You had a chance to change your grace. Oh, my thing ran out. Wow. These guys are weaker. There's some subtle hints like they're deaths. No! Oh, that's not healing. But did, did I just use two of it? Oh no, it used it has like a a mana cost or something. So that's why I can't do another one. I saw two gestures and got real worried that I uh What a great opportunity to die trying to grab items. Huh. <laughs> An 11, wow. Okay, this guy's legitimately not, not that good at chasing you with, their, with his attacks. Somber 5. These still feel like low level upgrade items to be getting this late in the game. There is, of course, a value to, like, cycling through them and repeating them because you don't want to just suddenly lose the ability to get a lower level ones without it. Although you can go farm the lower level areas if you want to. I guess. I'm not genuinely psyched about farming in general, I guess, so I kind of, like, just want... I kind of wish he just unlocked level whatever weapons, essentially. Because having to farm up more resources, it can like stifle your creativity and your options and so on sometimes, because you have to put so many resources into upgrading one weapon that you don't want to change weapons. Because you're like, can I even afford to make the new weapon as good as my old one? It's going to require a big investment, or, or could I, have I even maybe used up the entire, uh, stock of petrified dragon bones this game has. Oh, this is the place that leads to the room I kept dying in. We've looped around. Back in a circle. And I have gotten lost. Haha. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta go. I'm late. This episode's over. We did it. <laughs> 
I wasn't joking. I am kind of down to the wire right now. Mm -hmm.